So here I have two plates with cutouts. The cutouts look very similar in terms of their shapes, but differ slightly in terms of their dimensions towards the end points. So today I'm going to show you how to use configurations to create these two different cutouts without the need for creating new parts or suppressing features. So let's go to the sketch that was used to create the cutouts. So right click on the sketch and select configure feature. And out comes this configuration window. It is always a good practice to immediately name your table. So let's name this table cutout. The column on the most extreme left lists down the configs that you have. So let's create the new config called alternative. The next column contains details of the sketch that you want to configure. If we go to the feature tree and double click on the sketch, you will see that this will cause the dimensions and their names to pop out in the graphics window. Click on the dimensions that we want to configure. And you will see that this will get populated into the configuration window. Another way of selecting dimensions is to click on the drop-down menu beside the search name. This drop-down provides a list of all the dimensions in the sketch. If you don't see the dimension names in your part window, go to the heads-up display and click on Hide Show Items and make sure that View Dimension Names is activated. So once the dimensions have been selected, go ahead and double-click on the cells to change their values. Once the changes have been made, click Apply, and most important of all, click on Save Table View so that we can retrieve this table later. So I'm going to skip right ahead to the point where all the dimensions have been selected and configured. Alright, the appropriate dimensions have been configured. Looking at the Configuration Manager, you can see that the Configuration Table is here. If we wish to make further changes, just double click on the table. To activate the new configuration, double click on Alternative and you will see the changes being implemented. To make it more convenient to shift between different configurations, it is always helpful to have this drop down menu. Right click on your menu bar and select Configurations. You are free to move this menu bar to a spot where you like. And this menu bar allows you to have a drop-down menu to switch between the different configurations. Alright, this is the end of the video. I will see you in the next one.